Well, it was great. It was great. You know, I, I can kind of sense, or not just me, but, you know, guys was just sensing that, you know, he was kind of down and, and, and low. So for him to come out, I think he had 110, 115 yards, man. It was big for not only him, but, you know, for everybody else, just getting, uh, for him getting confidence in himself and for the people who never let, who, who never, you know, doubted his, his, his talents, man. It's just good for him knowing how much work that he puts in. The, the, the strenuous stress that he puts on his body, you know, going in, inside those tackles, uh, uh, playing selflessly in, in, in pass protection, man. So for him to come out today was, was a big deal for us. And you told us this week you wanted to get this offense up to kind of the level of the defense in their high ranking. Was tonight a good start and how satisfying was it? Well, it was. It was extremely well for us you know, to uh, put up those type of points, you know, yards will come, but, you know, our, our job is to, you know, put up points and, um, you know, for us to, to, to get that done, especially in front of our home, home, uh, home field, it uh, does us a good service. And these two things kind of go hand in hand, but how much better do you play when you're having fun? Because it looks like you had a lot of fun. Really? <clears throat> Felt fun. <laughs> yeah, but the way offense has struggled with the running game, and that's what y'all want to do. What does it feel like? Two straight weeks, first time ever, <coughs> two hundred yards rushing, back-to-back -back games. Well, I mean that that that's really good. You know, that's, those are great accolades. But you know, I feel as if that we're still scratching the surface. You know, with our with our potential and things that we can do as a whole in this offense, we still left a lot of plays out there. Um, you know, and and and, and we'll we'll get them corrected, knowing that just trusting in the plan, trusting in our ability, and trusting in the coach's execution, um, or our execution with the coach's plan. You know, um, you know that's just some of the certain things that we're capable of. And to follow that, you do that heading into a bye week. Everybody wants a late season bye week, but the way you're playing, do you wish you were playing next week, or are you welcome in the? Absolutely bye? not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I got to take um, Carrie to school, um, to get her some uh, cupcakes and some pizza for her class. So I look forward to that. And uh, we got, uh, you know, family pictures. Thank you. you said last week you, you sent something special with this team. What do we see tonight that, that kind of supported what you said? Well, you know, guys just flying around making plays. And, and um, you know, one play that stood out was, you know, even though the scoreboard, you know, was what it was, you know, later on in that in, in the game, you know, guys were still focused and in, 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 in had that laser focus, and that's what you want to see. Um, you know, that play there at the end, you know, everybody marveled or, or, or gave me credit on the sideline for the throw. But more importantly, it was just fun, be, me and him being on the same page and things that we practice on constantly. And for it to come into, you know, just like we, 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 we named it in the game, man, and that's big time for us. So um, just having great, great characteristics, good DNA as champions, man, and uh, just keep moving forward. On the long run, did you think you were going to get caught? Or think you were that's embarrassing. That's, that's extremely embarrassing. But I'm going to say this, man. One of my best friends, Deshaun Lawrence, jinxed, has been jinxing me for years. He said that I have not, I don't have in my repertoire or my skill set to break a 50 yard plus touchdown. And all I kept thinking while I was running, I was hoping that one of the Dolphins players, preferably the, def, the DB, who tackled me would just slip up, just trip, something. I just wanted to score for him, and I didn't do it. And the first thing I do when I get back to my locker is a text message from Deshaun saying, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't enough explicit emojis in my options to send them because he was right, but hopefully I do get that done so I can send him a text message after after that but you know it was fun man you know I got a lot of ridicule after that you know uh the best one I, I heard was um you know a couple guys came over and said you know DA could have could have scored on that one but <laughs> yeah DA gave me gave me gave me some crap after that 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 uh that touch of gray 
in his hair, but uh, it is what it is. What was that celebration? Was that like Steph Curry shimmy on the ground? Or what was it? Well, when you ain't got no gas left <laughs> and your check engine light is on and it's blinking, get gas, and the next stop or so, hey, you just got to celebrate when you can celebrate, brother. So I didn't make it up top yet, so I felt as if, you know, I wanted to, you know, I was just hoping that coach didn't come back with another run play for me, but it was all good. Sam, I think you're five and one on Monday Night Football. Is there something about Monday Night you look forward to, or is it just like any other game on a Sunday? Uh, it's it, to be honest, it's just like another game. But you know, Monday Night is 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 such a such a prestigious game. You know, especially for the, the guys who are students of the game, and you know, you hear the young guys. The nerves, the nervousness, and you hear the whispers of them talking about it. You know, how is it? You know, is it like this? Is it like that? But the coverage leading up until a uh, Monday night football game is like no other, man. So, you know, we still wanted to treat it like it was any other game. But you knowing that, um, you know, America's watching and, you you know, it's a lot of family members that uh, don't usually have the opportunity to see you, can, can see you on Monday night. And to have it click with the running game and the passing game tonight, did, do you feel like it's kind of a precursor of what you guys can do over the last stretch of the season? Well, we just want to keep it going. We just want to keep it going. It's, it's nothing saying that we've hit our pinnacle yet, and it's nothing saying that we can't get better. You know, and, and, and that's, that's the thing that, that um, you know, we just got to be optimistic about, knowing that, you know, the, the, the game plan that, that's put in, we're still – um, putting in work that we can keep putting up these type of performances or even better. Cam, how big was that touchdown right before the half, kind of getting the momentum back because you got the second half kickoff and then went down and scored again? Man, it was big. It was big. I say it each and every week, and Coach Shuler says it for his um, – his keys to win, you know, when we get an opportunity to defer to the second half, we want to get those sneaky points, and, and we got those sneaky points again. It was a 14-point leap uh, before their offense got back on that field, and uh, that's what we want to do. Those are those are champion or, 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 or uh, winning winning tactics that, uh, you know, we can easily be overlooked if, if not executed the right way. Came back that Luke made the interception, and you face him in practice all the time, and as a quarterback, what's it like with a guy out there that can do the things you didn't read the way and, and lull you into doing things you probably don't even see? Well, there? without me even knowing or seeing that, I'm pretty sure Luke knew it was coming. And I bet he wasn't supposed to be there. Um, that's just Captain America. I mean, what you expect, you know, for him to be who he is, you know, him bringing the energy. Yeah. You all right, brother? I see you over there dozing off, and I ain't want to say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know it's past, I know it's past your bedtime. I was going to do a, I was going to be a preacher and call you out now. But, uh, <laughs> man, over there dozing off, man. I dropped the mic. <laughs> how, how disappointing to see Curtis leave the way he did that. Ah, oh, that's bad. It's real bad. You know, a person that was on the cusp felt like, you know, for him, you know, he was a, a key attribute, especially with the acquisitions in these last couple of weeks. But, <clears throat> you know, for him to step up and make crucial catches for us and to get the momentum going uh, is, is big. But, you know, hopefully I'm staying optimistic about this whole thing, um, that everything will work out and that we still see him sometime this year. About your post-game celebration music, I believe it was Adele. <laughs> I gotta keep having fun with that, man. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all ready to say something. Look at y'all already on y'all little Twitter. Cam storms out of the. What you say? I was curious about your post-game celebration music. I believe it was Adele. That's another thing that they want to get on me about, but we ain't gonna have that. But my 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 uh, music selection is is pretty aggressive with the softness. Um, for real, I mean, I, you know, just for us going through that, that the rigors of having all that testosterone built up, you know, it's okay to throw in an irreplaceable by Beyonce and someone like you by Adele, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's all I'm trying to do is just, just tone it down just a little second so we can clear our minds and, you know, put like a little heavily voice 
in our in our hearts and minds. Anybody else have any questions before I leave this? How are you with your Georgia teammates the last couple of days? It's all right. That's expected. We expected to win. It's nothing, you know, that we didn't expect. Uh, War Eagle to the people that's watching. Any more questions? Yeah. Was the hat? Y'all honor. taking advantage of me now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hank Williams Jr. Honor, sir. The hat in honor of Hank Williams Jr. Like you mentioned the other day, or completely different? Well, uh, you caught. You just you just threw me a curveball. Uh, so I'm just gonna, gonna, but no, it wasn't. It was just a little drip, a little sauce, swag, aka all that synonyms for just having a good, you know.